Hi guys, it's the end of August and I have a really awkward lighting here. <laughs> so I'm gonna film my Cape of Month review for August and let me just show you that. Oh, look at the rainbow! Guess which albums? It's obviously the hollow ones. They're doing a pretty good job doing rainbows there. Okay, so let me just start it like... Okay, yeah, normal light, yay. So, first thing I uploaded this month was Red Velvet's Red Flavor, their summer special uh, mini album. Yeah, I got this sooner, but again, I always uh, try to upload my next unboxing when my previous one reaches uh, 100 views at least, so sometimes it gets a bit slower, but yeah. So there is Red Velvet's Red Flavor. Then, or the Red Summer. No, I don't know. The Red Summer, right? <laughs> then I also got this tiny whatever, which is Super Junior's Magic Special Album Repackage in a Kino card version, but there is no card to be seen, so it's a bit strange, but it's a Kino version, whatever. <laughs> then I also got favorite debut uh, mini album, or you know, mini album, my favorite. Uh, they are definitely one of my favorite debuts of this year. To be honest, I think girl groups are owning this year's debuts, but yeah, so they are not my only favorites, but the uh, favorite has really impressed me, especially because they are from such a small company and who knows if they are gonna survive, so I immediately had to support them. Yeah, so please pay attention to favorite. Then, uh, well, that was still in July, but again uploaded in August. I got my birthday present from Tina this year, which was the newest canvas, my first newest album. So it's such a beautiful album. I'm so happy I got this. This is like, I guess this was my most wanted newest album because it just looks beautiful. So yeah, thank you so much Tina and also it was great meeting you because she was in my country. Then the next uh, unboxing was uh, Uptensions Stardom. Their previous mini album was really good, and this is probably even better. I love this so much. Um, it's like, I don't know, quite some time passed because I uploaded it in the beginning of the month, but it was a July comeback anyway, so yeah, and it's like pretty much September tomorrow. So. <laughs> then, older but this year album is April's Prelude. I really wanted to get this, like, uh, after maybe two months after their comeback, I got into the song, so, and I really like this lineup, I think now everything is how it should be, April is nice how they are, card, card is nice how they are, so, you know, that's what I mean, so I really wanted to support this comeback. I'm planning to get Mayday eventually, but this was my priority to get this one, so I got it, yay! Then, after so long, I struggled so much, but I got twice this uh, signal version B, which is the other version I wanted beside the version C I had since it came out. But it was out of stock on Ketchup City, and in the end, I got impatient uh, after two months, yeah, and I just bought it somewhere else. But I do have it, and it's so beautiful. Look at that album, it's so beautiful. And then, if you're not tired of Holo already, this is the holoest album ever. Cards Ola Ola. Oh my god, this is so pretty. No, it was twice his album which did that. Woo, it's twice his album which does that rainbow. And this is Cards album. What the See, it's not that big of a deal. But twice his album does a really good rainbow. Yeah, so there is Cards Ola Ola. Finally they debuted, oh my god, look at that beauty, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, I'm really excited for future physical releases because they are amazing. Then, I had no idea there was two versions, the album. It's Stellar's, uh, Stellar Into The World, this is their third mini album, I think. This is called a mini album? I think it is called a mini album. So, this is the black version because there were no signs of them doing two versions, every site just listed one thing and the only reason why I know is because later uh, my friends told me and then on eBay, yeah, there are two versions, I had no idea, so now I have to get the other version, because if I knew I would have both two immediately, so it makes me angry because I would have one unboxing up with the two versions, how it should be, but now not. 
yeah, there are things happening to Stellar which honestly didn't surprise me, but it doesn't mean that Stellar music is any less amazing. I hope their future music is going to be amazing as well, but this mini album is life. I love these two songs, The Wave and uh, this one. Yeah, I love those two songs. Yeah, Tyler Rack is nice, but after I listened to those two, I kinda, you know, I like got over the title track, that was nice, but these two, and I still didn't get over the wave, so it's amazing. I need to get the other one. Then, Nam is his first ever time doing a repackage, so they did Love City for uh, identity, so there's now a repackage, and it's blue, and it's super pretty, and I love this photo book so much, so, and I love the song Love City, the, it's a Nam is his song. Then, Wikimiki debuted and they impressed me. The album is not only the album is really good, but I do like the title track as I, from first listen pretty much. There are strange parts, but sometimes those parts that people are like, "Ooh, I hate this part," are for me are often the parts which make songs unique. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Okay, uh, "Stay with Me" is amazing. "Stay with Me" is beautiful. So there is Wiki Mickey and this poster, whatever, is so strange. <laughs> then another debut, less hype, less hyped, but it's ONF's On and Off. They are B1A4's and Oh My Girls brother group, and this is a really nice uh, mini album as well. I really like Difficult. And On and Off, such a chill uh, but trendy music title track. I love it so. And I really like the boys. Uh, my bias is now is between Ishan and JS. So the card I got is technically up for a trade for either of those two, but I don't know. I want to come back, okay? Just I can't decide. Then I also got JJ Project's comeback after five years, verse two, which is so exciting. Oh, I can't spoil the photo book. It's it's such a good it's such a great release, and I think it makes it even better that we didn't really expect this and we never thought this would happen so that really just makes it even better and I kind of like the packaging I just wish there would be less black and white but other than that it's great <laughs> then more two version album that was the only two version album which I got this month at least like when I actually got the two versions is Dreamcatcher's prequel here is the before and the after version, they are both gorgeous. I personally recommend buying the pre version because lighter foot book and it's just prettier. And I also really like that bird or dog or, or pigeon thingy there. Although the spider is like pretty cool, so yeah. The Dreamcatcher design on the front is always beautiful, so yeah. I prefer this color. It's still purple, but it's less purple as this. And you might may know that I'm not really a fan of purple. Yeah, I don't fancy purple. It's like purple, but whatever. It's not a bad color, it's just me. That's weird. So yeah, but what bothers me though is like in this version, this purple really doesn't match the rest of the album. Like I don't know how that happened, but that bothers me. The other one is like quite nice, but this one is, is a mess. Uh, yeah, but other than that, it's, it's okay. So, yeah, and I love the album. Here's the track list. Sleepwalking. That, 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 that's my song. I love that. <laughs> so, uh, the next one is our baby debut. <laughs> also known as Samuel. Uh, Samuel released his first mini album, 16, which is super exciting, and it's a really nice uh, quality mini album with the box packaging, uh, <laughs> but it's okay, and it's beautiful, and you get all these photos of Samuel, so I love it. Then, ooh, just hair. Yeah, other Produce 101 <laughs> thingy is Longu and Shihyun, or Hyunguk and Shihyun, and I found out what that weird name, that's his name actually, one of his names, because actually he was born in China. And uh, it was like that part of China, which is basically right next to North Korea. So I, I think he is Korean, just not born in Korea, Korean, I think. That's what I think, but he was definitely born there. 
probably raised there as well, but he's, he, he does look like Korean, like, he, he, for me, he doesn't look like he's Chinese, but he does have a Chinese name, and that's Longu. So, that's why. That's, uh, like, technically that's his official name, I guess, but in Korea, in the competition, like, he used a more familiar Korean name, I guess. So that's how the things got confusing. But other than that, like beside that, this is an amazing release, so much more than I ever expected. And this made me convinced that I kind of really want all the releases that these Produce 101 any ones do. Because season 2 was like, um, I think it's like turned out better for all the trainees. So I do plan to buy MXM's album as well. And this is a quality mini album, I love all of these songs. I, I think I like Love Taste the most. Yeah. Then, <laughs> babies, new babies, my pain, is Snooper. This is the repackage you song of their fourth mini album. First time they are doing a repackage and it's such a nice packaging. I mean like flimsy slip cover but beside that it's like really cool design and the box is pretty much filled up with the contents so that is also great and I love this coloring. Ooh, there's notebooks. <laughs> Don't look there. So uh, the album in general is amazing. Like Those are amazing. I, I do listen to the entire album a lot. I don't really look at the the titles of the songs so I don't even know what these are like by the titles I do know the songs because I listen to the entire thing together in one playlist on repeat so sometimes that happens to me that I don't actually know what I'm listening to beside the group being or which album it's being I just yeah you know you know what I'm trying to explain so please love Snooper I try my best to get all the uh, available albums uh, maybe this year or early next year you know it's just like I need to do it. They deserve it. I've been thinking about this for almost a year now, so it's not a new thing. I just didn't talk about it a lot, but I've always thought about Snooper, so yeah. Then the not last album... Oh, the sound. So, A-Pink's Pink Up, their latest mini-album, their sixth mini-album. And in my personal opinion, this is probably their best mini-album. I do like their music in general, but... I think like they are one of those groups that really do release better and better things. It's probably how their music style changes, but they also stay the same. A Pink, it's very interesting, and I think that's what I like to see from those typical, more innocent type of groups that are basically not allowed to do anything else because of their fans in a way. So like it would be really strange if A Pink would suddenly turn sexy. I think we can all ag agree on that. But uh, they do stay true to their origins I guess but somehow they really obviously improving uh, musically so it's just aping I don't know I, it's like I don't know that's what comes to my mind when I think of aping so yeah I'm really happy that I got this as it was released five is currently one of my favorite title tracks it's not my favorite oh they wrote it like that I didn't even notice that Ooh. I really like that track uh, but Tongayo is my favorite. I might even like it more than five. I really like this. So yeah, I listen to this, this, and then five a lot. I do like the entire album, but those are my favorites. So thank you so much for watching. And this is basically a stack right here. Yeah, and strange lighting. I actually have to leave now. Uh, ooh, I actually did my best trying to say favorite tracks on the albums. Please appreciate that. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Bye.